Kia ora, and welcome to Game of New Zealand. We are very excited to show you a sneak peek into the super sweet game we've been baking. So come and check it out. It's a match three game set in a yummy lip smacking baking universe where you match the pastries and ingredients and you use that to then progress through the game. You play as Hannah Puff and you traveling through the different lands, returning them back to their former glory, because there's a bad guy, Mr. Merlot. There's seven different objective types. Three of my favorites would be, number one, the boss battle, where you go up against Mr. Merlot, but first he's henchman, and you have to capture a predetermined amount of tiles. Second one would be the baking challenge, where you essentially match ingredients and follow a recipe to bake a cake. While you're doing this, you can see the cake forming and there'll be different cakes throughout. The third uh, objective type, which I like, is rush hour, where you have to serve customers. And as we all know, customers are king. So you need to keep them happy, keep them fed, or else they're gonna walk out really unhappy. Creating the maps was a lot of fun because we basically asked ourselves, if we made these environments, what would make you wanna eat it? So we've uh, built environments that have like waffle mountains and marshmallow boulders and chocolate lakes and we basically made it as lush as we could with the idea that people would want to eat it. We have this really wacky and interesting stylized world of cakes and it's made of you know, chocolate etc. So we really had to make sure that the characters that inhabited this world were just as fun for the player. We work on expressions, we work on poses and once we start really finalizing what the character is. We pass it off to our very talented 3D modeling team and animators. And they really breathe the final breath of life into the character and put the cherry on top. The most innovative feature in the game is the diagonal swipe. Uh, this feature allows the players to move the pastries in all eight directions. This gives the players an extreme amount of freedom while playing the game and adds a dash of strategy into the mix. Now, should you find yourself uh, stuck at a particularly challenging level, you can always take the alternative path and bypass that level for a while. The game also offers you some exclusive boosters that you have never seen in any other games. The board freeze uh, allows the players to freeze time on the board and make as many matches as they can spot. 